hey, it's Panzer Coons here, and this video is going to be about how to fly aircraft that quote-unquote suck. Because a lot of times when you're grinding stuff, you have to get past that one plane in the line that nobody likes or that it's universally, you know, frowned upon. And in those aircraft, you can't really take the fight to your to your opponents. You can't just go into a sector and take it alone. You kind of have to do things on the side. You have to avoid uh, dock fights. You have to kind of think outside the box to get the advantage. So I have a couple of clips of that, and then I'll go over one battle that I had in this aircraft here, the I-250. Uh, it's not a popular aircraft by any means. It's kind of like the stepping stone to the MiG, as I mentioned. But I was able to do a couple things to, uh, to help us get the win. So let's get right into those. So here I am in the Tier 4 German ground attack. Uh, they call the Tier 5 the duck, so let's just call this the baby duck maybe. And one thing you have to think about when you're in planes that suck, is don't go anywhere alone. I come into this pretty much alone, and right away there's a VF 109E on my tail. And I'm trying to do some evasive maneuvers here. I'm trying to get away. I'm just trying to get my nose on him somehow. But you're alone. No one can help you. You can't really rush in here and, and do things like this. So just just keep in, keep this in mind. I was defeated by this VF 109E, and I was alone. Maybe in a like an IL an IL two with the gunner or something. You know, better GAs or even faster ones. And as you get up the tiers, you can just solo stuff. But when you're in aircraft that are a little underperforming you can't just run into things and expect to come on top you have to use your team so i went in alone and i lost so let's move on to the next one so now i just captured the enemy mining plant here but they just captured ours as well as you see on the other side of the map so i'm making my way over and another thing you have to consider is when you're moving around the map try to avoid going into the enemy spawn as you'll see that's exactly what i did here sometimes you're not you know, you're not keeping track of just where it is and you just want to get to the next sector. So I flew into here and then I needed help from my team to get out of this alive. So I see a Spitfire and right away I'm able to react. I'm able to turn into him. And it doesn't matter who you are and what kind of fighter you're in. You still never want to go head to head with the GA. You know the guns are just going to be a lot more powerful. And who is it again? It's that BF 109E. And now he's coming in to attack me. And last time I was alone, but this time I have a friendly fighter somewhere around here. I have the heavy right there, and then can't find the other fighter that's on the mini map there. Oh, it's right here, the HE-100. So right away I send bots on him, but the HE-100 is able to, to engage him. And now I know he's distracted, so this is my time to come in. I needed help from my teammate there, you see. Uh, too bad my engine is crit, so I don't have <laughs> any ability to climb. But this is the time to act. This is the time where he's engaged, he's not paying attention, and I need to take my shots right here. Squall line is up. I'm able to pull some lead. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. He's so disoriented, he just flies right into the mountain. So I was able to come out on top there uh, with, with help from my team. So in this clip, I'm in the Bullfighter 5 because in my last dueling video, I went up against it and I saw the, the crazy things you can do with the, with its turret. So I wanted to try that out for myself. And I got one garrison. I'm going after the other garrison you see over there. But I decided to pop in the, the center here just a little bit because you don't really want to be getting into a furball with, with a, an aircraft like the Bullfighter. But I just wanted to pop in, take a couple aircraft out and, and keep going on my way. But as you can see, a lot of enemies in the area and this clip isn't about the bowfighter sucking. It's more about the plane, the, the Yak-7. It's not known to be, you know, a highly maneuverable plane. It's not known to, like, people don't rush to get the Yak-7, right? But the player that's in it, uh, he used that plane's advantages against me uh, to defeat me in, in this entanglement here. So I wanted to highlight that. He, he doesn't have the best plane uh, going up against the bowfighter, but he, was, he still found a way... To beat me so this is what i want to highlight coming in they got a boomerang then i'm looking right where are the players where are the players i see the player there i make an attack they got a lot of his health and then i immediately go to the gunner and i'm trying to maneuver the plane to, to keep him in my gunner sight but his engine is out so he dives and to me i'm thinking all right this is going to be really easy 
I'll take him out here and then be on with, uh, with going to the garrison. And as I'm coming in, I'm firing, I'm firing. And then I noticed slow things coming toward me. And in my head, I'm thinking, wow, that, is that the 37? The shells must be going really slow. But it was actually rockets, which I completely didn't re remember about. Rockets coming in. And you see that last one there hits me. We destroy each other. And I just thought that was a pretty cool instance there. I gave, I gave him credit for that. He was able to use a plane that doesn't have the best characteristics. But he found, he found a way to dodge me, come up, and he landed a rocket kill. So I get credit to him, and that's one instance where you can use a plane that maybe doesn't have all the advantages of other ones, but still make it work. Alright, so in this clip, I'm in the tier 8 light fighter, the I-250, which is not known to be a good plane, generally speaking. A lot of, I hardly see anybody flying it. It's kind of just a stepping stone to get to the MiGs. So knowing that, knowing that I don't have a good turn, my guns are short, short range, uh, quick burst. I know I can't dogfight with a lot of people, but I'm going to go through this this match. I'm going to fast forward a lot of parts because every little thing I did toward the end helped us get the win. So I'm coming into this mining plant. I want to try to uh, get this to our team. See how they have the specialized bomber? They have the, the Key 94 and the B-32 uh, uh, the flight. So I know he's watching his back, but I go for the, you go for the easy one first. I go for the Yak here. And I take my take my eye off of the key 94 and look how easy it is for him to slot in behind me like nothing he can outturn me he can kind of keep up with me in speed there's just a completely wrong way to approach that and how was he able to do that I was firing at the yak so you have to just be one step ahead of him all the time so on this particular instance the thing I see as most important is protecting the command center. So just look how many planes I'm, I'm just taking out here because if they have the command center and the mining plant, I know it's over. This command center will at least help us get that mining plant when the, when the bots go over there. So I was able to take all those guys out and then keep always keep an eye on your minimap and look what's, who's behind me. The Key 94, he's back again. So instead of trying to fight him head on, instead of going toward him, I, I leave the area. See, I, I, I'm not strong enough to just go at him. He takes out one of our ADA. And now I'm hoping that he's a little distracted now. He's not paying attention to me. So this is a perfect time for me to come in. I let my 37 do its work. 23s. His wing is crit. And I'm able to take him out right here. So knowing he has... The turning ability, he has a, a better gun, a, a long range gun. He has pretty good speed. Going head on with him wouldn't have turned out well for me. And I'm still trying to defend. They almost got it. I take out the G8. I come around the heavy fighter. He comes back to the sector. So I reset it. So now I'm thinking, okay, I can't just sit here and try to reset it and just defend the whole time. The threat is gone. I need to try to get our, our mining plan in our favor. But then I see the, the B-32 here, and luckily our bot Hornet did a lot of damage, so I was able to take him out. So now the next thing. Try to get, and they end up getting the command center anyway. So all that stuff I did was for not. But we're still in this. So the first thing, the easiest thing to go against is the Yak-3. I do some good damage there. And you have to keep keep an eye on what's going on, right? Who is it again? The Key 94 and now the, the FW-190D. So I'm in a very bad spot here. I'm in an enemy held sector with two players in the area. The Luckily our command center was able to get victory. it. So all that work I did trying to defend it uh, was it allowed us to secure it. The Yak-3, there's no way he can catch up to me. But then the Key 94 is also giving chase. So if I was to turn to fight to dogfight with his Yak-3, he would easily get me. If I was to try to dogfight with the Key 94, he would easily get me here. So knowing that, you just run away. Just get space and come back for another attack. And that's the kind of things you have to do in an aircraft like this. You know, if I was in a vampire, I can just take the fight to them. If I was in a heavy, I could take the fight to them. 
but when you're kind of undergunned or your your aircraft is kind of peculiar, you know, you have to fight a different way. And now the Key 94, he's about to get our, our airfield here. And what is he doing? He's attacking an ADA, so it's the perfect time for me to come in. And that's kind of how you have to kind of how you have to do it. You can't go head on with people. You can't fight them straight up. You have to come into the side. So now they're at 718, and I need our base, our military base, our mining plan, I should say, to take over. And I'm just thinking, is there going to be enough time left for that? I don't have time to go and try to get a, a sector right now. So the best thing for me to do right now is just take out enemy aircraft. There's only four of them left. So somehow, maybe I could take them out. And I definitely need to destroy, I mean, uh, defend this airfield because if it was to fall 100% we would lose but defending it it gave us a chance it gave us a fighting chance and now i'm just trying to take out as many aircraft as i can and i'm hoping the time takes Pilots, over we are the and at the very last second we get the bonus points and we win 800 to 796 so defending the command center and keeping the airfield al afloat help me win this game so in conclusion uh, when you're flying aircraft that suck number one never go anywhere alone number two know who your enemies are know who you can you know outturn who you can outclimb uh, always try to have your team around you to send bots on them that really helps out and just know that even though your plane is underperforming the, it's still controlled by a pilot which is you and you make all the difference so put yourself in the best situations that you can. Don't just fly head on to a heavy fighter again and again and again and get destroyed. But just try to do things differently. Try to outwit them. Try to uh, be more patient. And then you can kind of make it work at least until you get the next plane in the, in the tech tree. So that's it for this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.